Now, Channel 3, early warning weather. Well, if you're getting a head start on the weekend, already off perhaps, uh, and out and enjoying today's weather, or have yet to do so, I encourage you to get outside because it is so nice. We've got lots of sunshine. Temperatures along the shoreline already up to between, say, 66 and 68 degrees, thanks to a wind out of the northwest. A little bit cooler in the Litchfield Hills, mid and upper 50s there, but still very pleasant. Uh, 62 for Willimantic right now, 64 in Meriden. So we have this wind up out of the northwest. So again, if a fire were to start today, it could rapidly spread as conditions are very dry across Connecticut, uh, despite some recent rain. Uh, so that north northwesterly wind is filtering in some drier air. So dew, uh, dew point values are down, relative humidities are down as well. Uh, but our view from New Haven here, looking toward uh, the skyline there, or over the skyline in the green, and great visibility with the sleeping giant there off in the distance. Uh, really nice out there, that breeze. Uh, you're certainly going to feel this afternoon. Plenty of sunshine looking live from New London. Really blue sky, border to border, checking out our scene live from Hartford, looking toward the southeast. So if you're heading to our capital city later this evening for the Yard Goats game, uh, as they take on the Somerset Patriots, upper 50s to start dropping through the 50s as the game wraps up under a mainly clear sky. And that clear sky, you can see really all across southern New England. Any sort of substantial cloud cover, you have to go up near the Canadian border through Vermont and New Hampshire to find that, uh, that, that cloudiness. But uh, high pressure basically in control through tonight and tomorrow before uh, we, do, we see an increase in cloud cover later tomorrow. Uh, so future cast, lots of sunshine through the rest of today, clear skies overnight, and then tomorrow we'll start off uh, with temperatures in the upper 30s and low 40s. By the afternoon, we'll see increasing cloud cover, uh, but temperatures tomorrow pretty close to where we're expecting them to peak today between 65 and 70 for many locations. As we head toward and past sunset tomorrow, there's a chance for a couple of showers. We're not talking about a washout. We're not talking about a prolonged period of wet weather, just some scattered showers tomorrow night into early Sunday. You can see kind of that ribbon of showers. So uh, there are parts of the state that may escape rain altogether tomorrow night into early Sunday. We've got this uh, what we call a backdoor cold front that may be draped right across southern New England. So Sunday may be a situation where parts of western Connecticut could be considerably warmer than eastern Connecticut, given uh, a breeze coming in out of the east and northeast. So uh, by Sunday afternoon, looking for some partial clearing. So highs tomorrow, again, close to where they're going to be today, mid to upper 60s. Uh, and then for Sunday, uh, more clouds than sunshine. Monday, briefly milder. And then by Tuesday, looking at a more substantial cold front moving through. That will bring us the chance for some wet weather on Tuesday. And then uh, behind that, Wednesday, Thursday, much cooler, running below average. Highs only in the mid to upper 50s. It's going to be breezy and will probably dry most of the time. An isolated shower can't be rolled out Wednesday or Thursday. So if you've got some outdoor, say, plans, exercising, going for a walk, a jog around the neighborhood, doing some yard work uh, today, tomorrow certainly looking good. Uh, tomorrow, the better of the two weekend days. Sunday afternoon, highs along the shoreline, only in the upper 50s.